hello wanda here going to attempt a new swipe and a silicone uh, application so we can have some really cool looking chameleon cells so i'm starting with a white santorini and i'm going to layer some paint and these are regular craft paints matte and they have been mixed with floetrol to um the consistency where they will just come right off of the stir stick okay so you can pick whatever colors you want today we're going to do like an ocean scene underwater scene so we've picked some blues some aquas some turquoise I will list the name of the paints in the description All right, so we're going to start with a layer of white. All right. Blue. This would be a lot easier if I had the squirt bottles or the yeah. squeeze bottles. So, um, which are on order, and I promise we will get those. So, I'm just going to keep layering a bit. All right. Once you have your paint on, we're going to swipe with a damp paper towel. I'm going to turn my plate this way. All right, start at the top with your white. Lay your paper towel in the paint and slide it down. That's swiping. That's a pretty good one. Look at the cells already. And then we'll slide it back the other way. And now we're gonna apply some silicone. Silicone, this comb has been dipped in silicone on the tips. And I'm just gonna apply it. And you can already see the cells growing. Look at that. Oh, they're going to be gorgeous. This is beautiful. Me and Katie are over here like, yay! <laughs> We're having some cells on a cellular level. <laughs> okay, I'm geeking out. This is so cool. Look at how beautiful. It looks like snake skin. Comb provided by Katie. <laughs> but you can find similar combs on Amazon. Need more. All right, so I'm gonna pause because this takes a little bit of time to disperse and I will definitely show you the end result and then this will take about a week to two to dry is what I've heard that's with the uh, light off so you can see it in a different view okay so this is 10 minutes later and this will dry and I will do an update to this rock to show everybody what it looks like dry Right now, Katie is coming on to do another version of this. Alrighty, so I have just this little round one that was a paint over. We're redoing it. So um, it's painted white uh, chalk paint um, already. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay 
the strips down across and do the swipe and then we're gonna do the silicone in different design so I'm gonna start with white pouring is such a mess And then we're going to do a dark blue, cobalt blue. Oops. That's turquoise. Now we're going to change it up with some silver. This is another blue. I can't remember which one. All, this, all these colors will be listed in the description. This one's a lighter blue. And somehow I ended up making a whole bunch of that. I don't know what I was thinking. And I guess we'll go back to the dark blue. Also, I wanted to add that the combination on these was 50-50 paint to flow trawl and a smidge just add a squirt of Elmer school glue or PVC glue to the mix. Now I'm going to take a piece of a wet paper towel. I'm going to lightly lay it on there and then just drag it and let it do its thing. And I'm gonna pull this side just a bit, try to mix those colors a little bit. Look at the cells already. Yep, oops, sorry, I keep hitting that camera. Okay. Now I'm gonna go over this with the Torch just for fun because we're playing, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Now, on my pick here, I have silicone. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it in kind of a starburst pattern. And I'm just going to keep going around. Now I'm going to hit these spots that I didn't hit a while ago in between there. Cool. 
beautiful. Trying to drag a little bit of that color through that little bit of white at the top. This was the top. And now I'm gonna put some silicone in it. That was smart. See, Katie's the smart. <laughs> I don't know. Perfect. That way you're not just getting a whole strip, it's, it's moving around. And see right here where we're missing a little bit of white, I'm gonna go in and put some white in. Look at how that's coming yes. out as it's sitting. Beautiful. Starting to get. Mm. Go back and add some silicone. Now you can take some on your finger, like this spot right here where it's kind of no paint ended up on it. I'm just going to take my finger and just kind of blot it and fill that whole spot in right there. There's another spot right here. I'm just going to kind of blot that in. This is just really experimentation now. <laughs> this looks really cool. I love it. Bravo. And that pretty much all there is to it. Now you have a really cool coaster. Right? Mm-hmm. Coaster. You can resin yep. it. Okay, if you're going to resin, you have to wait for these to dry about a week. And then you have to clean them off. Um, mild, mild, like one drop of dish soap in water. Wring it out real dry and wash the top of it off lightly but you can't have any oil on the surface because your resin will not set it will just dis disperse off the top of it so you want to make sure that the oil is cleaned off before you resin but definitely you can put a, a nice coat of resin on this and as soon as it dries you can use it as a coaster yeah and we can put some cork on the back Yep, you can buy sheets of cork at the Dollar Tree. One sheet per dollar. Alrighty. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a great day. Okay, here's the finished rocks. They are dry and gorgeous. I think it looks like snakeskin. Isn't that neat? Look at this one. So it's basically the rainbow swipe that Katie showed you the other day, and then I added silicone with the comb. 
And these are the two we made in the video and just some others we were playing around with. So fun. Anyways, I wanted to show you guys the finished products and let you go make some fun yourself. If you enjoyed what you saw here today, go ahead and hit subscribe and like and tell your friends. And uh, if you want to be notified when I'm uploading new content, hit the bell and YouTube will notify you. Thank you so much. I'll see you soon.